Yeah, I know it's Saturday evening, but I just got a question from one on social media and on how can you actually make sure that you can see all the participants in the Teams call, but also still have a nice view of the content that you're sharing. So in this case, I created a Teams call. I'm going to join that call. I have my small camera down here. Normally, of course, I would always use a camera on top of the screen so they would have a better impression of me. I'm not using audio in this case since I'm the only one here. So joining the call and I want to start my presentation. So I will do the PowerPoint live, which means that the remote participants can do a lot of stuff. They can choose to swap between the slides. If you don't want to do that, you can hide the private view but then you will lock them down to follow your presentation exactly. But right now, normally I would put my participants in the top of the screen, the no one here right now. But another way that I really like to do is I want to pop out the content. So popping out the content means that you would separate the Teams call or the video feed from the content. I will hit my Windows button and the left arrow, which means that it will push the window to that side and then I have my video feed which I will just hit enter on and then I would have that dual screen emulation. I don't use a lot of notes during my meetings or my presentations so one thing that I like to do is go here and hide the presenter view. So in this case I will have much better uh, dual screen emulation so I can see my content as well as the participants in the call. So as you see, I have my presentation here and then I would have all the participants over here with all the live video feeds. So I hope you could use this small tip for me. It's a really nice feature that I use quite a lot. See you out there. Bye.